G'day everyone, and welcome back to Spycraft The Great Game. When we were last here, we did a bunch of photo photo doctoring, found out who stole the peg. Found out that we now need to go to Moscow and interrogate the peg thief, Ying Chung Wang, or Wang Chung, or whatever it is. It's time for the middle of old dance hall days. Okay, mm, it's that disc two. Oh, hold on. Case Officer Thorne. Tommy's in town. Just pulled Harmonica's passport from UK immigration. Harmonica's in Moscow. Watch your backside. Sweet. Hmm. Cool. Brooks to Moscow. All right. Let's rock on down to Electric Avenue. Hi, I'm Max Foster. Mm, Max Foster. We have right. Ying in the interrogation chamber downstairs. She's waiting for you. Thanks, Max. You're awesome. Thanks. I'll have a chat to her. I hope you get the information you need. Give me a call in the intercom if you need anything. Hmm. I will. That's for damn sure. Case Officer Thorne. Um. President en route to Moscow. President Brooks is readying for a trip to Moscow in a few days to sign the end treaty with Russian President Alexander Polyakov. Oh, the Many see the end treaty as well Hot train! Oh, crap. Um, oh, shit. Russian shite. nuclear arms problem. Alexander Polyakov eh. welcomes the joint denuclearization eh. policy. Others, such as presidential candidate Arkady Trebanov, see the treaty... Sorry, folks. As a weakening of Russian might. I hit the Windows key. Trubanov said it is an outrage that Russia's own president will sign away Russian security for a few dollars, and the Russian people must not let Polyakov auction away their strength to the highest bidder. President Brooks' visit to Russia will include a tour of Moscow, a presidential gala, and to quote President Brooks himself, a few days of R and R. Ooh, golfing. Getting his golf on. Alright, Interi Magation. We probably should save at some point. Hey, it's Wang Chung. Oh, crap, I can't save. Uh, if you want to get out of here, take a look at this. We got Grendel, let's talk. Let's just hit it right between the eyes. I'm listening. If you hurt him, he'll be avenged. Hit her hard. What are my choices? I'm listening. Good. I'm listening. Good. What do you want to know? All right, I think we've got her. I was to steal and deliver the peg to Felix Scotty in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. He's a real jerk. He tried to kiss me. I nearly killed him. Now I may have. I don't know anything else. I told you I don't know anything more. All right. All right. Can I go now? Fam, you come. I've done some contract work for a group called Procat. It's a paycheck, a big paycheck. I don't know anything else. I told you I don't know anything more. Uh, Can I go now? Ooh. 
All right. Case Officer Thorne. Interrogation went well. Third song and harmonica. Okay. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Maxie. I like Max. Something strange happening back here. I looked up a file on Procat. Hidden. I think by David Holt. I finally tracked down an expanded Procat file. Okay. Something. You might want to talk to him. This John Blake person. They're both over these files. Ooh. It's all about access. This is where we stand. We've eliminated most of the low-level agency employees from the list of possible moles. But that's not surprising. Our mole has access, directly or otherwise, to high-level information. I'll keep you informed. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Uh, odds of slipping, okay. What I think about the more comes this. Thanks, Stello. How's Rabs and Fatty? Uh, can I do a. Yeah. Let's do a. Let's do a quick save. Alright, so let's chat to Max. Gene Warhurst told me you're poking into the Russian Mafia. You want to talk to Yuri Gromchevsky. He's with the SVR. Who is Yuri Gromchevsky? Yuri works with the SVR's Mafia Crimes Unit. He'll help with your investigation of the Russian Mafia's involvement in the peg theft. I sent him a copy of the image you grabbed of the assassin. He's looking into it. Cool. Do you want to go out for dinner? I'll shoot Yuri's number to your PDA. You can call him from your office. Cool bananas. Uh. You can have Pearson's old office down the hall. Nothing fancy. Just a place to collect your thoughts, review notes, make calls, and use the computer. Woohoo! Computer! I'm trained. We've had Birdsong investigating the Mafia because we want to keep an eye on their efforts to recruit Russian scientists. They're starting to deal in technical secrets and we'd like to keep track of what they're selling and to whom. The problem is, he's a scientist, not a spy. And they're on to him. They want him to prove his loyalty. Kill a man. Local Mafia thug. They've even tried to give him a gun. I've set a meeting. It's not standard operating procedure, but we don't have a choice. He reluctantly agreed to meet in his apartment. <laughs> the only place he feels safe these days. He says he can get more information about the president's hit. No oh, cool. It's not my call. It's yours. Your mission is priority one. But if you want my opinion, we shouldn't do it. Everybody's in the field. I'm all that's left to mine the store since the budget cuts. It's not usually this deserted, but... We asked for a new security system two years ago, but we're still stuck with 1970s technology. One minute max, we call it. <laughs> and no reference to me. 
<laughs> covers the room in a minute flat. You sure, Max? Uh, ooh, we've got Case some Officer comms. Thorn. Mm, Yuri's number. Awesome. Cool. Let's give old Yuri a call. It's Warhurst. Jamie has patched us into the image database so that I can talk you through this. We just received these from the ATF. Those people had no leads until you captured Ying. This is where the peg fell into Scotty's hands, and probably Harmonica's. Abandoned warehouse in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. That's Felix Scotty, the arms dealer Ying told you about. Been a heroin broker and a money launderer, but gun running is his first love. His buyers usually Rose. end up like this. The ATF has been watching Scotty for months, but he slipped away after this deal went sour. Thorn. I'm afraid that's not the half of it. Scotty killed these men without firing a shot. Marco Fabrizi, apparently the middleman. He and his partners all died of massive coronary arrest. At least that's what the medical examiner says. And there were no bullets or bullet holes to be found. Nothing. I realize it sounds impossible, but you already know about silent kills. This new weapon gets the same results with no projectile at all. Looks like he rested it there. And use this for power. Check your ATF web link for a report from the lead agent. He says there was a... Let's see here. Uh, ah, a concentrated high-frequency burst at the scene before they moved in. Scotty escaped here. He was killed later, just outside Minsk. Thorn, this new weapon is out there. Probably in Harmonica's hands. I don't need to tell you what cool. that means. I've circulated these pictures via Interpol and the State Department. Right now, Harmonica is the most wanted man in the world. Good luck out there. Uh, okay. Caught it then... Then exploded at four seven seven five megahertz. Okay, we need to remember that. Level critic. Access granted. The pyramid. An introduction. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Opening email gateway. Okay. Oh. Email cancelled. There is. Opening email hmm. gateway. Hmm. It's a shame you can't stop this once it starts, but anyway. Email cancelled. Hmm. Let's duck in here. Uh, let's jump in here. Let's just check. Case Officer Thorne. Welcome to <coughs> Mission Directives for Case Officer Thorne. Okay. Yep. Uh, call. Alright. Welcome to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Hmm. Level critic. Access granted. Uh. Wow. All right. Let's, uh... Case Officer Thorne, welcome... 
Mission directives for case officer Thorne. Investigate ProCat, yeah, okay. Contract Yuri contact Yuri Grumcheski two three three four eight one nine. Two three three two three three four eight one nine. Two I think that was right. Nope. Case Officer okay. Thorne. Mission Director. Uh, two, three, three. <laughs> Telephone call, Mr. Okimura. Kromchevsky here. <laughs> Hello, Thorne. I'm expecting your call. Yes, I have received photo from Foster. Good. Can you help me, brother? You have called the right man. Come over any time. My office is in Yasenevo. Nice. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. Oh. Mission directives for Case Officer... Mm. I think we should go... Let's, uh... Let's go... Yes and Evo. Hello. You must be Thorne of the CIA. Mm. It is my pleasure to meet you. Thanks, Vlad. My general has had talks with your Mr. Sterling about the Dubansky incident, and he is satisfied that it was, as you say, a former agent acting alone. I am a good soldier, so I must also be satisfied. How can I be of assistance? Mm. Yes, they are mafia. Perhaps they are Chechen or Ngoshi, but I'm not sure. But I know who can tell. Господин Кольогин, американский СДС. Заходите, пожалуйста, чтобы его встретить. О, oh, Юра, привет. Как называется? Олег Кольогин, это Сторон, это CIA. О, это очень приятно встретить тебя, Сторон. Олег, вы знаете, что эти двое человека в фотографии этого фотографии? Ну, эта фотография была, конечно, сделана, когда Федор Добрянский был... Assassinated. Yes. The one on the left uh, is called Ilya. Mm. He used to be called the Hammer. Oh, yes. He was the one who was shot in the head by one of his henchmen over a pair of blue jeans. That's right. Over the pair of blue jeans. Can you imagine? Yes. Mm. Well, the other one is Uzbek. Uh, I do not know him by name. Sorry. Thank you. Спасибо за эту встречу. Спасибо тоже. Рад видеться. Надеюсь, мы повстречаемся с Даниэлой скоро. Вот спроси, вы на меня тот же самодела. Суббота? Окей, okay, суббота. До свидания. До свидания. Хорошо. Хм. Чики, Russians. Это сгрон фет, он дымилка в тулкаус. Драгс и коррупцион. Ластир. Soviet Republic shipped drugs worth 11.5 billion US dollars, virtually all of which shipped to Western Europe and your states. Most of all of these drugs were shipped through Russia and her own web of organized crime clans. I wish it were. 
The drug trade has fueled extraordinary growth in organized crime. There are now 5,000 gangs operating across the country, controlling 40,000 private enterprises, including 8 out of 10 shops, depots, and hotels in Moscow. This corruption has crept even into our government, and that is why I am here, to find a new way to combat them. He's intense. That is an understatement. The mafia is everywhere these days. They are even behind one of the presidential candidates, Arkady Cherbanov. I have proof. In my heart, I have proof. I know Cherbanov has his hands in their pockets. I will get the proof. You have come to the right man. I will set up meeting. You will see for yourself. I will call you when it is time. It has been good to meet you, Thorn. Hmm. Just gonna save this up here. With a little... A little bit of LP2 action there. Make sure that's saved. Perfect. Alright. Now, oh, might as well rock bird song. I wish you didn't come here. They'll find out. I cannot. Do you know what I must do to get that information? They yep. question my loyalty. They want me to kill a young mafioso to prove my loyalty. I cannot do this. I will consider this. Now, please forgive me if I don't show you out. Good afternoon. All right. Back to the station. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. Uh, sound hack is your friend. Awesome. Hey Thorne, don't know if you know about. I don't know if you read about the IAT. Uh, sound hack. Could you use the code word newsflash, and you can page me any time you're in a bind. Ooh, cool. Cool. Freeze. Ooh, I like it. I said freeze. No time for details, just remember. I programmed a voice link into your PDA. You can reach me whenever you want. Just say news flash and you'll automatically open the comm channel for me. Perfect. Thanks, Jamie. You're awesome. Nukes for sale. Hold on to your breath. German TV is running this promo for a news story about a stolen nuclear weapon. I did some poking around in German intelligence and they say that it isn't as bad as it looks. The weapon's not actually functional. Someone removed the pen. The Germans like to think the sellers had enough conscience to hang on to the really dangerous stuff. I think I know better. They're selling it separately. Achtung! Tomorrow on the next Achtung, I will inform you of my newest toy. Tomorrow on the next Achtung, I will inform you of my newest toy. Tomorrow on the next Achtung, I will inform you of my newest toy. Tomorrow on the next Achtung, I will inform you of my newest toy. Tomorrow on the next Achtung, I will inform you of my newest toy. Tomorrow on the next Achtung, I will inform you of my newest toy. Tomorrow on the next Achtung, I will inform you of my newest toy. Ringing in my ears, Foster. All right, cool. Ooh, check out messages. Sweet. All right. So we're in our orifice. We've got an envelope. Parker stuck his head where it didn't belong in my sights. A moniker. Okay, Parker's dead. 
and messages. Kromchevsky here. My friend, you wanted to meet Chervinov? I have arranged it. Meet me alongside the Vilnius Center in one hour. Okay. Cool. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. What do we got? Mission directives for Case Officer Thorne. So we're going to rock some pro cats soon. Uh, meet with Gromcheski there. Hmm. Maybe we should look at the pro cat file. Linking to Office of Information. Uh. Blah blah blah. Melnikov. Level critic. Project okay. I should pro print. John Blake, Melnikov. Melnikov's come up. He came up in one of the people's stuff. Wow. Okay. Alright. I am looking at the photo of Parker. He is not the only one out of commission. Lang is MIA. I had to cut his PDA out of the loop in case he's been captured. Hate to say it, Thorne, but it's down to you and a sigh. Okay. Downloading National Intelligence Daily. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh. Mm. So many videos, so little time. Russian President Alexander Polyakov is being accused by supporters of presidential candidate Arkady Trubanov of using strong-arm tactics to push through the ratification of the end treaty. Polyakov recently revoked Parliament's ability to approve foreign treaties, something that most Russian political analysts say he is not empowered to do. Critics of Polyakov say he is actually backpedaling from democracy by signing this treaty with the United States. Polyakov made no public comment on the matter. President Brooks' approval rating reached an all-time low today. 74% of people surveyed believe he has not shown sufficient world leadership. Mm. And according to the polls, that doesn't sit well with the average American. Mm, not good. President Brooks announced today that his upcoming journey to Moscow will be cut short due to an increasing workload at the Oval Office. The president will travel only long enough to join President Alexander Polyakov in signing the end treaty. Good. Russian presidential candidate Arkady Trubanov has been rising in the polls since the recent assassination of Fyodor Dubansky. All right, cool. Uh, okay. I think we'll do Gromchevsky first. Yeah, let's do Gromchevsky. Oh, we got, Case we got Officer it. Thorne. Blinking light. Hmm. Can I help you with something? Man, that part of my life is over. Way over. The agency sent me to bring in Melnikov. MI6 sent John Blake to take him out. Too bad nobody clued me in. I tracked down Melnikov and then Blake killed him. After Paul Print, I moved from Operation.
solutions to intelligence. Sure, the work's boring, but here backstabbing is only figurative. Now I still get to play in the game, but I no longer have to blindly follow orders. You kidding? Without Melnikov calling the shots, Procat wouldn't even exist. Of course, you could ask Blake what he thinks, but be warned. He's a freak. Some upper-class hipster doing wet work for MI6. In the end, he wasn't cut out for this kind of work. I'm told he still sees Melnikov's ghosts. Scares the pants off him, and it serves him right. Ziblotikon. Mm. Uh, let's rock on down to Vilnius Avenue. I hated that bastard job enough. I told him I forgot our invitations. Dokin Chayo, Druji Moy, and do Pitaisha of Noza Petania. Yaku, Yakeji Kab, Wunem Cherbano, Yipsha do Pitan, Prokisar of Asia, Yaku Rosiu Budamatia, Kotunarova, his campaign manager. Yeah, vote for me, mother. Hey, hey, get your vote on. Vote early, vote often. As they say, vote early, vote often. Here comes trouble. Judy Gromchevsky, as he won your goblet's dogs now that night. I know what this means. This is Thor. I wanted to show how deeply organized crime permeates Russia. I could think of no better place to start. The U.S. So you are uh, FBI, CIA. I welcome you to our fine country, Thorne. I hope Yuri here hasn't bored you with his talk of mafia conspiracy to defeat Poyakov. Oh, and how is Alexander this evening a bit under the weather, I imagine? You are mad for power. You don't care if you drag Russia down to get it. You know the only way to win this election is to destroy your opponent's reputation. Destroy their lives. Ah, Lina. Allow me to introduce Torn from the United States, who with Polyakov's task force on organized crime. Uh, Kromchevsky here is showing Torn around. So, the butcher has become a babysitter. <laughs> Terribly ironic. I think Yuri here has just accused me of having Lubinsky killed. <laughs> How dare you say such a thing? It is so like Polyakov. He begins to feel a little pressure, and instantly he sends his militia and his Yankee cronies on the competition. This conversation is over. Please excuse me. Cop that. Bad acting and all. All right. Let's see what's happening in the old orifice. What do we got here? Messages. Dawn, it is bad song. I am in danger. They have discovered my affiliation with you. I have been... How, how do you say it? I have been compromised. Do not attempt to contact me. Never again. Hmm. That's not good. Somebody's left a thing on our desk. Who has the power in Russia? See the nukes folder in your cabinet. Ooh. Bum bum. Nukes. Who? Moscow government sources. Blair. I'm gonna go out and limb and say this disc has got some codage. Oh, news groups. I like news groups. Ooh. Link established to National Security Agency. Mm, Bill. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
decryption unsuccessful. Hmm. Where's that other disc? Book of the Month Club. Uh. Yeah, let's get Rabbit Hand. The US government account. <laughs> Winner. Well, let's get both. Perfect. Tons of money. Good. All right. Link established to National Security Agency. Deal uh -huh. other. Decryption Ooh. successful. Okay. I sure hope I'm wrong about this. But it sounds like this message is referring to a nuclear pit. You know, the part that goes boom. A blue? Mm. Controlled access authenticated. Go. Cool. Power play compartment accessed. Okay, I've got a fair bit of that to do. Uh, okay, cool. Thanks, Sterling. Thorn, it's Max. I just got a call from Birdsong. He's running scared. I tried to reason with him, but he wants no part of us. I'll put Birdsong's dossier and the recording of the call up on Intel Link. Oh, and you want to check out his apartment for any clues. You'll be discreet, I'm sure. I'll keep you posted. Thanks, Thorn. Cool. More work to do. Crying out loud. Link established to national... Case officer... I want to go back to that... I want to go back to those news groups, because I reckon there's more in there. Right. Oh, hang on. Okay. Oh, another one. Link established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful. No, that was one we already seen. Um. Okay. Link oh. established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful. Okay, Onyx Pro Cat has come through for you. I have. Come solid to agree meeting. Okay. Link established to National Security okay, Agency. Okay, Ray Gooden, God and Magog, that's... Decryption successful. Okay. So, uh, we need to find Onyx. 
Case Officer Thorne. Welcome to Interlink. Uh. Controlled access authenticated. Welcomed. Power play compartment access. All right, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. I want to thank you all for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode of Spycraft, the great game, please remember to leave a like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. If you're new to the channel and want to see more Spycraft and all the other awesome games we're rocking here, please subscribe and hit the notification icon and comments. Please feel free to leave comments because your support is so unbelievable and so greatly appreciated. So yes, thanks again for joining us. And until next time, <laughs> laters. <laughs>